You may have heard the news recently where Telegram CEO got arrested by the French government over allegations that they failed to moderate illegal content on this platform. If you're worried about this or you're looking for an alternative to Telegram, WhatsApp, Slack, anything that has a chat based platform. If you're just looking for a super simple group chat tool that you can own and have more control over, well, I'm here to tell you about a tool called Campfire. It works amazingly well for group chat functionality and you can customize the tool completely based on your own needs. So I'm going to dive right in and let's take a look at the tool. Campfire has simple UX. I would say this is stunning UI for members. It's really easy to invite others. It's easy to create rooms. The app mentions is intuitive, DMs, etc. This platform works on web and mobile. And most importantly, you can customize the tool further depending on what you need. The way that Campfire works is different to many other community tools out there. For a lot of other community platforms, it typically works by you paying a monthly subscription to access the platform, you can customize certain things, but at the end of the day, the platform owns the platform and you're just paying access to do some basic customization. But with Campfire, it's a very different experience. Campfire is a platform that you can download it's self-hosted by yourself. You have a lot more control over this platform. There's no subscription. You get the code. You pay once, you download the platform, you run a command, and then you get to host your community on your own server. It's completely yours. Another important aspect is that you own your own data. So if that's really important to you, then Campfire is a great solution. If you're sick of paying recurring charges for platforms like Slack, which isn't even built for communities anyway. It's built for collaborations for teams. And you're finding that it's just not meeting your needs, especially for group chat, then that's what Campfire was built for. I like the fact that you can really easily organize your group chats as well. On the left, you have the current room that you're in. On the right, you have all the other rooms that you can join and unread messages are highlighted so that you know what to catch up on. You can make rooms private to some, you can open it up to everyone and you get DMs like I mentioned. There's no need to overcomplicate group chat sometimes. Sometimes you're just looking for an easy solution. I love how simple this solution is. Previous searches are saved to the sidebar for easy access later. They also have dark mode, if that's something of importance to you. I know dark mode is very popular with people. Campfire is also a great solution if you're worried about Slack or Teams going down and you need a backup. It's a perfect standby because you don't need to pay constantly for the system. You can just buy it once, have it in the background as an option. And if things go down and you still need to have real time conversations, then you have campfire in the background that you've only paid once for. Now, if you're actually building your own community platform, it's also a great way to learn how campfire and the team behind campfire have built this group chat tool. You can dissect the code, you can study it, they said that you can modify it. I love the fact that they're sharing their code with others to learn from their expertise and hopefully make it better. If you're running a live conference or event and you want to have the ability for people in the room to have group chat, then Campfire can also do this. You can create a QR code, share it on the big screen of your event. People can just easily scan that QR code with their phones and then instantly establish a chat room for all the attendees. That's pretty amazing. Now, I will say there is a level of technology that you'll need to install Campfire. They do say that installation isn't that difficult, but I can tell that there would be some people that might feel a little overwhelmed from this process. They don't have a huge level of support to get you going. So if you're worried about the tech element of this, it might be worth just watching their eight minute install video 
seeing if you find that easy to understand before purchasing Campfire. And if it's all too much for you, then I would recommend sticking with other platforms that do provide more support. The most important knowledge that you need to know is how to connect to your server and run a single command. They go through this in the easy installation guide, but that's primarily what you need to do. It all runs on your own hardware, in the cloud, AWS, etc., or you can use a host like DigitalOcean. But they give you tons of information around what's needed to go ahead and install. They also give some additional options if you are a bit more tech savvy. I'm not going to go into those details, but there are options for more advanced users. So pricing wise, it's $299 that you pay once. There's no ongoing fees no monthly fees, no annual fees, no per user fees, which is huge because Slack is like that. You just buy it once and it's yours. Only one person needs to buy it as well. So you or your IT person, they download it, install it in the server that you control, and then everybody can gain access to it in your community. Now, Campfire can work beautifully on the mobile web, either as a tab in your mobile browser or as a progressive web app, which you can launch right from your mobile's device home screen, just like all your other apps. And like native apps, you'll get badges on your icon and push notifications if you'd like that as well. The Campfire team itself are happy to help with some of the basics, but they can't troubleshoot complex custom installs. You can create chatbots for your campfire, which is awesome, especially if you're looking to add that functionality in and they give information on how you can do that. Just note that you can't white label or resell campfire. So it really is for your own use, for your own community. They do have a license agreement, so you can read through that. Now, if security is really important to you, I've already mentioned that you own all your data. But what's also a pro with Campfire is because it's running on your own server, it doesn't ping back to a remote server elsewhere. So you can run it without access to the outside internet. So to quickly summarize, the pros are, I think the UX is simple. It's straightforward. The UI is stunning. It's just really easy for people to get started with group chat functionality. It works on both web and mobile, and you can completely customize this tool because you own it. Once you download it, you own all the data, which is also really great. You have a higher security level if you need that. And you don't have any subscription fees with this product. So you just buy it once, and then you own it. The cons are that if you're not tech savvy and you're not comfortable with the installation guide or you don't have somebody in your team that is tech savvy, then you may either need to hire someone to help you get started with this or you have to avoid this tool altogether. You may need to go to other options that are a bit more user friendly, especially when it comes to installation. Another con is you can't upload your previous community data. So say you have an existing Telegram or Slack community or Discord and you wanted to import things from that community into your new community using Campfire, unfortunately, they do not have the ability for you to do that. So it would be like starting with a clean slate. Now, I know Campfire is not considered to be a decentralized app. They obviously run on a licensing model. But I do think it's a great alternative if you are worried about using Telegram in future or you've been looking for an alternative to all the other group chat platforms out there. I'd recommend taking a look at Campfire and seeing if it meets your needs. If you are still interested in building a community using Telegram, I do have a video that goes through that process. If you have any additional questions, then feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.